drinking's back with European single blended rum. Yeah, baby. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm gonna be totally I don't honest either. with you. European, Not a clue. European, Completely European, clueless. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I European. have no idea. I, uh, I'm doing my best Iowa accent of what I can make out of the bottle. We do very little research ahead of time because we it's like just more fun that way. It's we more like fun that way, right? We want to know. No influence, right? We're coming into this. None. And we're ready. We're gonna try some so, stuff. I see some butterflies on the side here. This bottle. Oh is a very man, cool I hope colored. butterflies weren't harmed in the making of this rum. <laughs> I hope. I don't think they were. Don't think, I don't so? think so. Well, why would they put them on there? Are they, they, oh, there are those dead butterflies. They're or showing. They're, they're showing <laughs> that they don't harm butterflies. Oh, okay. Yes. So no butterflies were harmed in the making of this rum. This rum. <laughs> If you guys are new to the show, I'm Robert. I'm Roy Air. And this is Just Drinking, where we drink rum and tell you about it. Make sure that if you love drinking rum, finding new rums, and hanging out with other rum lovers, Join that you us. guys hit that subscribe hit button. It, Give it us hard. a thumbs up. Come back each and every week as we're always trying a new rum. We always got something coming out. We got the live show every Wednesday. As well as you can check out the links down below as we've got the Facebook page, Just Drinking After Hours, where you can come hang out with other rum lovers. And we can check out, you can check out, we can check it out too. But oh, you yeah, can check and we do. Our rum club, which delivers rum straight to your doorstep. Right to we're the sipping door. along each and every month. You get premium rum sent to your door along with other rums from craft distillers. And so you can read all about that. We got a link down below. So if you're interested a lot in being of fun. a premium rum drinker, you can go check out that link. But otherwise, you join us. we're glad you're drinking rum with us today. All right. So obviously, this isn't a full bottle. Full disclosure, this was <laughs> gifted, <laughs> right? At it was. At it Chicago was gifted. Rum Fest. Miriam was nice enough. Yes. Thank you, Miriam. Bottle, and we feel terrible because it took us so long to get to the bottle. It did. But obviously, we have a lot of rum we're always working through, right? Yes. But we got to it. We're here. We're doing it now. We are doing in it. In preparation for Rum Fest in two weeks. <laughs> Yeah. Rump Fest 2023, here we come. So, we're doing it now. We're excited. We did not forget about it. It's been here. So, we've got this. This is a 46%. That is an 80. No. Four Carrie, and Carrie, a half. Carrie. 92. Oh. 90, <coughs> 92 proof. I'll you help know, you out there. My teacher said I wouldn't get to carry a calculator in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. I should have just used the calculator. Yeah. Here, let me, let me just pull out the flip phone okay. and use yeah. my calculator. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Stop playing Tetris. Put that thing away. So, yes. Okay. Uh, so, his 92 proof. I carried it over there. I got there, right? Um, and this is a very interesting rum. Like, first off, uh, it just comes off as a very unique bottle. Um, but it then is. you start reading into it a little bit. So, there's there, some there's info a, this on the bottle. Is a, there's actually a lot to this rum. It's very interesting. So, it's actually a... You go ahead and you... Yep. You're excited. I, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Okay. I'm, I'm excited. Well, I'm just reading the bottle over here. So, it is... Uh, let's see here. So, this one's got that it's 50% estate-grown cane juice in a copper yep. pot still. And 50%... Produced molasses, modified French style column stilled, right? Yes. And then the uh, for the sugar cane here that they got going on in there using this is I don't know how to pronounce this. It's gonna be terrible. Saccharum officinarum. Yes, I think you did actually pretty close. But the elevation is at four thousand one hundred and eighty feet, and then it's in a red volcanic soil, which is very cool. That's so, very cool. A lot so, of cool stuff so right off the bat. The, the funny thing for for all that to kind of come together, that actually makes what they evidently refer to as a charanda blanco rum. Charanda blanco. So this is actually. Uh, what they consider to be a uh, blended rum okay. with with the uh, sugar cane juice and the molasses. That's how this becomes a right, blended, considered to be right? a blended rum. Yeah. But it's a specific kind of rum uh, style. It's a specific style of rum called Chironda. Yeah. Okay. So, Yes. Very cool. I'm excited because I, I don't. This. I don't think that we've it's had like fun facts with Royer. We got to get you your own show. <laughs> Let's crack this thing open, right. and it's open. So it's open. Normally yeah, we that, have a dramatic oh, opening, but yeah, obviously yeah, the bottle. Oh, oh, oh. Ready? Here we go. Tranda. And the release of the butterfly. <laughs> and they just flutter. We need effects. Butterfly. Can you put that in? Their butterfly is fluttering away. I don't know if we have that effect. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I know we're working on a budget here. It's okay. An interesting very, aroma. Okay, very fruity, deep yes, fruity notes. But you can, it's like some of that funk fruit, right? That I was gonna say. So you got a little bit of a high ester smell, right? So yep. I think we're getting into something that's more of an elevated rum here for some experienced rum drinkers. Yes, right? absolutely. People that got a palate development towards some of the funkier high ester, yep. dundery flavors. It, it's not. It's not flavors. like super funky, but it is funky. It's got some funk, right? It's got some funk but to it. It's got those deep fruity, citrusy yep. notes to the top there. Like I get a lot of that. Yeah, a lot of that. Very, very. Very interesting. We I'm excited. Got the phone. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Just felt like I needed. I don't know what we're doing. Just needed to do I it. don't know. It was what. just something I needed to do right yeah, now. Just yeah, drink I... it up. <laughs> okay. Hmm. First impressions, Roy. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you this because I've already had a second sip. Hmm. Well, Take a second sip. Diving in there, huh? Take a second sip. Because I feel like the first sip that you take is kind of like wham. It is right, a wham. Right to it your taste buds. I'm better about whams these days. <clears> you are. Congrats. You're doing better, man. Thank you. I'm trying. But, you know, the, the first sip is like wham. Here I am. You know, the second sip is like, oh, hello. Hello. Your mouth is calibrated. <laughs> yes. I'm ready. It's already it calibrated just yeah. a little bit with that second sip. Yes. You just got to take that first one in, uh, enjoy it. Yeah. And try and experience it. 
let it settle, yeah. take a second sip, right. and then you start catching some of the flavors. So you are absolutely right. I'm catching some of the fruity, a little bit of the fruity flavors in I here. I get like a charred kind of flavor it's Like to a it. charred funk. Yeah, like a charred funk kind of a thing, right? And I yeah. think that's, it's a very unique flavor, right? I'm going to like just go out here and say like, this is more into that like ester that was right in that citrusy fruit yeah. funk notes. It's very much in that avenue. Uh, to me, being a smooth, smooth, sweet rum drinker, I would probably put this in a cocktail more often than not because I've had rums with similar, not this flavor, but like some similar of those flavors yeah. that I use in cocktails. So that would be the first way that I would go about it. So I, yeah. I agree. So what, what I would say is if you are an experienced rum drinker and you enjoy those funky notes. And your hair looks more like this. <laughs> And and you you enjoy that char texture a little bit better with just a hint of a little bit of fruit. Yeah. Uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this just fine. Yeah. Right on its own. I think I like the versatility of this. Like yes. obviously, uh, it's got that charry flavor, but with the hint of fruit, like it really can go into multiple cocktails, right? So I don't think like this is like held to like okay. I first off think of like daiquiri and not like blended daiquiri, sugary daiquiri. I'm thinking like traditional daiquiri, right? So right. like that's my first thought. But then I get into the thought process of like, oh, it's got like that charriness to it. I mean, you could put it into like an old fashioned or something like Definitely that. Definitely fit into an old fashioned. I mean, I think or a, some of your other cocktails, yeah. your, your juicy, you know, uh, juicy. Co juicy cocktails. Like the juicy cocktails. <laughs> but yeah, baby. This show's brought to you by Juicy, <laughs> juicy. Cocktails. That's got to be a company. Somebody's got to start that. <laughs> I mean, think of the branding on that. I'm sorry, oh, yeah. I'm getting off, off topic here. We're going to start a whole other company called Juicy, Juicy. Cocktails. <laughs> well, we're going to take this thing and we're going to mix it into a backyard rum mixer. Now, we aren't going to make one of those fancy cocktails for you because we're backyard rum but drinkers. We a lot of could. people. Could. We could. We could. We could. We could. But we're not going to. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, we could We could just simple a simple cocktail. I, I'm going to make a simple cocktail. This well, is what we like to call. The Iowan Special. Okay, so this is all right. this is what we're, we're doing. This here. is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Okay, here. we're gonna right. take this thing. We're gonna mix it into Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. Don't leave. If you've never seen us do it, we like to add a little bit of artificial sweetener to this. See what it'll do. See how the flavors will change. See if it mixes. See if it like dis dis dissipates. So yeah, very this, very. I, I thought that I word was gonna actually kill you. So it might have. So I thought your it's, tongue it's was dangerous. gonna fall out of your mouth. English and math. Yeah, I know English. So we're gonna have some fun. Mix this thing up. Now, obviously, we've had this bottle for a little while. We like to call that backyard bar aged, and that is just because it has sat for a little while, but it has it has not it's hit rested. the flavor because it's when you open a bottle of rum, you got one to two years and we are within the one year mark. Right? We are. So we're doing good. Absolutely. Flavor's good. We're having Absolutely. good. Let's try this baby out. All right, here we go. I should All get right. a monocle. I feel like I need a you monocle. You feel like you need a monocle? To drink a rum. I can get you an eye patch. Sophisticated. Would, would that be? It's not we, the same. Get you an eye patch, cut a little hole in this it. This is high end. Okay, this oh. is this is big time. Oh. Okay, we need a, we need a monocle. So I feel like I'm underdressed right now. You for, are. For Unfortunately, something this sophisticated. everybody expected you to wear like a tux. But <sighs> is that the cleaners? The cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. You know what I really love about this? What's that? Is that there is so much flavor going on, but it's there still is. Blends. It, it does. It, it does doesn't blend. separate. It right? does like separate. It's still blended together. That's yes. what tells me this could be a great cocktail maker. Daiquiris, extra like extravagant cocktails, like. Fun stuff. I make a mojito with this too. Like honestly, like oh this, yeah, you can this, definitely make a mojito this, with this. This has so many fun flavors, but it's funny because Here, the pop the, blends. Here's right the bad in. thing though. I mean, we're, we're almost, almost out. out. Yeah. Well, so you know, I think Miriam can help us out again. Well, we're gonna try. <laughs> we're, we're gonna try. Shout out Miriam. I love it. So it's funny though because like I think everybody would anticipate that this is not gonna be very good, but it's very interesting it, because the flavors blend very nicely. It does. Uh, there's a lot of flavors going on, which makes it very unique. But it's fun because you get like this Pepsi with like all these. Fruity funk notes, which is it, it's a great palate. You're, developer, you're, I feel like. You know, you're absolutely right because that's that's you know I'm drinking the better pop of the Diet Coke, yeah, the second, but second best it, pop. it jumps in there and it just blends really nice. You lose you captures. lose some of the char. You, mm, you I, like, I you you lose some. Some it's yeah, still there, right? But all of a sudden it just kind of the the Coke and the the rum it just kind of mixes very nicely it blends together. really well it i does. think this rum attaches to whatever you put in it very well you know it i gave me that feeling when we sipped it on its own that it was very versatile like, yep i, I want to get another bottle of this and i want to try some regular cocktails with yeah, this do some bigger more fancy um, cocktails i enjoy you know i enjoyed it on its own because it's so different uh you know and i kind of feel like maybe this is really meant you know, to be had on its own. You think so? I do. Oh man, I think I've, I mean, I'm a sweet smooth rum guy though, right? I like cocktails. I, like, I this love This has drinks. such an interesting experience to it that I really feel like they nailed what they were looking to do. And I, I feel that this is really meant to be on its own, but it mixes really well. And uh, yeah. I think it's great. They did a fantastic right. job. But I gotta ask, Royer, we've had it on its own, we've had it in a mixed drink, we know what it's capable of, but 
What do you pay for this bottle? Okay, of rum so right here? let's look at out this. of the volcanic, 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 Vo volcanic I think it's soil. Volcanic soil. Right. I'm asking you, what did what did we pay for this? What do you bottle? think what do you, we paid? What do you think? What do you what do you think? What, what, what do you think? I, what do you think that we paid? I I apparently this rum is just making me like melted in myself <laughs> right now. So uh, I think I think we paid. You start saying cool stuff when you drink this rum. This is this is happening faster than normal. I don't know why. I don't know if I needed to eat ahead of time, but like I feel I thought like you ate before. I thought I did too, but apparently right. it wasn't right. But anyway, hey, join us on the live I'm night. Go ahead, be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is, uh, if I had to guess, craft rum. This kind of flavor, everything coming out of it. I'm gonna go 47.55. Wow, that's really cool. Um, you're really not close at all. Oh, frick. <laughs> I think it'd be like not 40, even close. 45, 47? Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. Okay. okay. Right. Twenty seven dollars. Really? Really? Twenty seven dollars. Twenty seven dollars. That seems inexpensive. That seems really inexpensive. Like if way. I will sell this to you for forty seven. Holy crap! <laughs> I mean, wow. That's that's truly impressive to me. Right. I think these kinds of rums are coming up, especially in America right now. I feel like we're seeing a bigger spike. We've had a lot of the craft rums come in. We've had a lot of new rums come in. It's kind of whiskey barreled, been very spiced rum. But now this, this? like the high ester, the dunder, the funk, those things have been coming up. And I feel like this is kind of the new wave oh, yeah. that's coming. If, so, if you're looking for something unique and different, definitely check this out. And I tell you, you got to work your palate there, right? Oh like, don't, yeah. Don't if, jump if, right if, in. Don't expect like if you're gonna this, get this bottle. This is the deep end of the pool. Do some light. I don't know if it's the deep end. This it's like is the middle the of the pool. No. It's the deep middle end of the pool. Middle of the pool. Yeah, he's... We have other rums that are the deep end of the pool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this, is, this, I don't think it's... I'd call it, it's, it's got some sweet enough notes in it that I think it could be very adaptable, especially making cocktails could help bring your palate into that. So like, if you're going to get this and you don't have that sip ability on your palate, don't be afraid. Just get it and make cool cocktails. Yes, make cool really cocktails. Fun. That's what I'm going to However, do. if you're brand new to this, Brand new to the rum uh, Make experience. Make cocktails. Make cocktails. Don't have it on its own. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even if you're brand new. Don't listen new, to this guy. This would, this would, <laughs> you should never listen. I, I tell you what, I have the worst advice. I tell you. <sighs> Cheers, buddy. If I had a dollar for every time you, someone got on our channel and said you're wrong, we would be rich oh, by We now. would be. We'd be, be loaded. Having our own plane. <laughs> That is European single blended rum. Make sure you guys check your local liquor stores. Check them out online. Go find yourself a bottle. Don't take our word for it. Go find yourself a bottle and try it for yourself today. Do it. Do it today. If you guys like what we did and you want to come hang out with us at Chicago Rum Fest, make sure Join that you guys us. hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you come back each and every week so you can hear the updates of where we're going to be and when we're going to be there. Also, make sure that you check out the links down below. We've got the Just Drinking After Hours group that you can join yeah. and have so many awesome. conversations with rum drinkers, as well as you can check out that premium rum experience by joining our rum club. We've got the a link down there club. for that, and it is Get so much fun. Right to the door. Everyone's Hello. Fun. It's rum. We have so much fun with everyone, <laughs> and we get a ton of rum in there, and if you come in and you don't like it, you can just go away. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But we haven't had anyone we do still that love yet. You. We haven't had anyone do that. So no. go check it out. It's definitely if you want to look for a premium rum experience, that's down there as well. And we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. With that, Royer, let's get them home safe. Always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. And no rums or butterflies were harmed in the making of this video. Not at all. We'll see you next time, guys. Ooh. Take care. Wow.